up and today I'm doing something a little different and as you can notice you cannot see my face anywhere on the screen I decided not to do a face cam for this video I just didn't think that there'd be oh I just moved my microphone dang it I didn't think there'd be anything too interesting for you to see and if you are so upset that you are not going to get to see my face for a whole full day and that a day is going to be missed of you seeing my face you can always go back to other videos and just see those ones where my face is included yes there are some where my face isn't in it but you can just disregard those now, moving on, as you know, or as you might know or assume, I make my own background music, bad or good. So, I've decided that I'm going to do a fun challenge to make some Halloween background music using every single option in Music Maker. So pretty much, I'm going to give myself a 15 minute time limit to do up to... I gotta zoom out for it. Just stuff in the bottom screen. So, going to, to do 10 measure. 10 measures. The 10's over here. I might end up cutting it down to 5. It depends with every option possible. And I'm giving myself 15 minutes. So, I'm just gonna start and work my way down. And I'm going to be aiming for the spooky Halloween thing. And I'm not going to be adding any after effects to it. The only options I have is the delay and the reverb. And I can also mess with their loud and quietness. And 15 minutes might sound like a long time, but for 10 measures, I'm probably going to just change it to 15 for how many I have to work with. But, like, that's a lot. So, I'm going to set my timer. If you give me a second. I was going to do that, and I don't know how I forgot to. Beep. And I'm going to zoom in to the first measure. Me me measure. Scroll. And let's begin. So, first we're going to be using the electric piano. So, uh, and if I reverb it, which is something that I do with a lot, it's... It is an echoey sound, which I think works better with the Halloween. So, I don't think the low note quite works, and I don't know why the bottom does this. So, now there's actually a whole bunch down there, and let's make... Oh, there's one there! There we go. And I hit play to hear it. So, I feel like I'm better off doing this, so... So, I'm going to make a... And... It's a bad strategy, but sometimes I make notes by just guessing, so I have that, so it's... And normally for my scary ones, I like to move my speed to 50. So, for a slower feel, or I might go with a 100 instead of 110 for a... I think I'm going to go with that, and that's actually going to be the first time I've ever done it with that. So, I'm going to do this. And I feel like the best way to work with this is to just do it instrument by instrument. So I'm going to just go up to the fifth measure because, whoopsies, because I think I'm going to change it to fifth measure just because like 10 after I saw it looked like a whole lot for how many different things I have to work with. And I'm going to be giving myself points for every instrument I can successfully include. So as annoying as that may look, but... So then I'm going to want. To, so then I've decided to raise it up one. Ooh. So it's gonna be. And I'm gonna do same to this one. And oh, I forgot. I totally skipped. Uh, I don't like how it does that, but it does it, so. And I'm planning on making the electric piano more of a quieter added piece, which I've done with others. My go-to for my scary ones are the music box and the vibraphone, and then I add in some other stuff for, like, fuzz sounds and stuff. But, da -da 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 -da. but I'm not going to waste a lot of time with that, so I'm going to, wait, got to do that to make sure that nothing's highlighted, go right onto the grand piano. And I'm going to reverb that one as well, just to kind of hear how it sounds. I feel like the grand piano is better as so a... Not that low. That's better. So, maybe like that. And sometimes I'll completely mirror something. 
but I think I do want to slow it down like this. So it sounds kind of... Sounds interesting, but I think I trust it. I, I, I might. I might not at the same time, though, so... Who knows? So one, two, down, up, down, up. I gotta figure this out, because it's close enough. Then copy, paste. I hit paste. Did I not? <laughs> and then move it up, paste. Uh, and I'm not like no, I'm I'm not an expert at this stuff, so like please stand by. And it might not sound like oof, insert like Mozart or anything. Oh no. Might not sound like anything too special, but that's what I do to avoid copyright problems. YouTube gotta be like that. So now, I'm going to drop it down by highlighting all of it, moving it down a whole measure. So I like it. I think I like it. And I'm probably going to mess with um, pitches and like how loud it is. Harpsichord, oh boy. I might only get through the first instruments because I'm already five minutes in. Oh boy. What happens if I reverb it? I like to reverb everything for scariness. Uh, reverb. Let's see how you sound. I like it so. Maybe. Keep in mind, this is all experimentation. So. No. 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 Um. Kind of. Hmm. No, I want it to be slower, so like a. Space in between everyone. Maybe. Uh, let's hear. Let's take a listen. Whoopsies. Let's try that again. It's not the worst thing in the world, but definitely for harpsichord, it'd be a much quieter. A little bit louder than that. Copy, paste. Sometimes doing that will make it sound like a note is emphasized, so. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Then do that. And copy, paste. One last time. Or like two more times, maybe. Who knows? And scroll and cut out. So it sounds like this. Let's see, do I want to drop this? Uh, let's see. Whoa. Too low. Not the worst thing ever, but... Ooh, I like it. So it doesn't change everything from harpsichord to ragtime piano. Oh no. This sounds like my piano, honestly. Off, it sounds like my piano, not kidding. What happens when it's reverbed? Because I gotta like check that every time. Sounds probably maybe a little bit more like my piano. I don't notice much of a difference, but. So for this guy, I think I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna try something weird. I'm just gonna go up by sharps. I gotta do it right. Let's see. Get rid of it. And I'm just gonna avoid down here as much as possible because of the black line, so it's gonna be. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna do it kind of like in a scale form. And then three down. By the way, none of this is like very planned out at all. It's kind of like, oh, I'm gonna do this. Okay. 
Let's see, I can't really hear it. So let's hear what it sounds like when I can actually hear it. <laughs> okay, I actually do like it when it's louder like that, but I do want it not quite as fast. So using my beautiful selector tool, eh, no, don't skip the top ones. I'm going to just move them each out one. Like so. Probably a faster way to do this. Uh, but I don't know a faster way, so I'm gonna do it the long I'm actually going to leave well I still have to move it. No. Uh oh. So I'm gonna scoot these over and then move these. Let me scoot you these. I think I like the idea of like a Oh, actually, but not you. Then if I like copy paste, what do I think? Most of these are probably going to be repeating patterns just because, like, what else? Ooh. It's just my sister scary. So. I don't know if it has the right scare feel to it, though, so... <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Maybe if I move it up, because I know sometimes like contradicting notes can have the. Ooh. Oh, I like that up there. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. Not that much though. I'm just gonna get rid of that end. It's too fast. It's just too fast. So I'm just going to move all of them to a new location. Um, that's going to be interesting to deal with later. So let's hear. Sounds too joyful. being quiet because I'm just like I'm thinking this stuff over and if any of you have ever had to like think stuff over you understand that like it takes a little bit of time no I'm not supposed to give satisfaction and I'm gonna go with some like I'm gonna just do a every time this one every time the harpsichord is not this one is Ta-da! Sounds like, yeah, it sounds like some, like, smashing. So, I'm gonna stick with it, because as annoying as it may be, it kind of works. But I am going to be turning down as the volume now, because it's not as important anymore. So, let's see, fill in all of that. Yep. I'm just gonna t go to Ragtime Piano and go, yeet! So, you can barely hear it, but like, I have a theory that it just adds a shh, an element to it that like, without it there, music box, my favorite, of course, and the cat's stuck in my room. I'm not letting you it out, I'm on a timer. I def I like it around this range where it's like, so, so I like, I definitely write reverbing the music box, and I do it for like a... If you've ever paid attention to the background music, you notice I normally space them out like this. So. So. Okay, so we are going to drop down the electric piano and the grand piano. More. More. Make the music box a little bit louder. There's just so much going on, I think it's overpowering the music box, so. Yeah, I want the music box a lot louder. And these two, so much quieter. I like it, but this a little bit louder. Ah, 
I like it. I don't know about you guys, but I still gotta finish this part. So after that, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm one more for like keeping me staggered because like I feel like slower is better at times So I may only get through this uh, Oh boy, let's see. Let's see how this sounds Hi Shane Well, let's make it an ugly note, so. Forget the music box doesn't sound ugly like others, so it's just gonna kinda do that. Wish there was a way to just make this sound absolutely horrible from this point on, just. Maybe hi cat. Don't mind him. I think this will ruin it. Yes, because I want to just have that sudden end to it, so I'm just gonna give it a whole bunch just to bomb it. Oh, yep, that's like the perfect like. And I'm actually going to cut that out if I do create this into a background sound because you don't normally have that for your background music. Cause. Okay, <laughs> that's just right. Moving on to the drum kit. Oh no, I'm not very accustomed. Oh dang it! My 15 minutes is up! Dang it! And all that I have is... is just so bad. But that was my 15 minutes already up and I'm five measures in and I haven't even gotten past the piano. So I think I'm going to change this video to making background music, scary background music, using only the piano in five measures. Uh, that was definitely harder than I thought it would be, but at the same time, easier than I thought it'd be, because I expected also to get through more of these. So I'm going to say, if you want to see a part two where I do, where I either take this and add it to the, add percussion to it, or I make a whole separate one doing percussion, and I know you're in here, I'll let you out in like five minutes. Where I move on to all these other pieces, and try to add them to this, or I don't know. But if you want to see that, slap that like button and comment down below telling me that. And now, before we go, I'm going to name this, because I have my others named, Scary Background Hi Cat Music Number 7. Uh, so, I'm petting the cat. So, I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to export it. I'm also going to copy the link. Go to docs. This is Alchemy Blur. Keep that in mind yourself. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. <laughs> So, now that I have it exported, let's hear the final product. No. Oh. You can be louder than that. Let's make you louder. Okay. Ti time for the final product. Oh, I'm gonna go let the cat out, and then we can get 
back to that. The cat once again. <laughs> so let's listen to that one more time, this time without a cat going. Meow. Definitely faster than I'd ever make.